OK, in some football news, the in the EFL at least, League 1 and League 2 clubs are proposing a salary cap. Um, European football is one of the last major sports. And I say I use European football because in North America and the MLS there is a salary cap of, of sorts that doesn't have a salary cap. It has financial fair play, doesn't have a salary cap. So what the EFL clubs are proposing in only League 1 and League 2, the championship clubs haven't proposed this idea, and it has to be voted upon by all EFL members to, to pass, is they yeah cap salaries. Now, we haven't seen wage caps since the 60s, um, when Jimmy Hill lifted the, the, wage, the upper wage cap limit for players. And the circumstances why that was lifted are completely different to the circumstances now with, with the amount of revenues uh, football has and the economic change in, in football. Uh, back in the 60s, top flight players could earn less than certain trades, such as builders and, and, and uh, you know, uh, factory workers, could actually possibly earn more than a football player per week. So the economic reasons for doing it made logical sense in the 60s. The, the economics of football have changed in the last 50 or 60 so years. The, the wages have exploded since the early 90s, massively, massive wage inflation. And, and what we've seen with this lockdown is how reliant clubs are on, on gate receipts and how reliant clubs are actually on the TV money coming in. And uh, even before this, this financial uh, crisis caused by the, the, the global pandemic of coronavirus, Lower league clubs were struggling uh, financially. Uh, even when times were good, allegedly, according to the FA and, and, and the Premier League, clubs were struggling financially. And this looks like it could be a permanent uh, thing. Now, what will that then trigger? It will trigger a knock-on effect. It, it will. Um, because when clubs get relegated from the Champions, let's say League 1 and League 2 are the only two leagues in this country to have a salary cap. Let's say when clubs get promoted, they're going to have to, you know, they lose the cap and and therefore, it, it, it doesn't become sustainable for clubs staying up in the division above. And when clubs get relegated, they're going to have to offload players. So it will have a knock-on effect where I have no doubt that the Championship and then further on the Premier League will also have to institute salary caps to make sure every club is competitive and given a, a level playing field uh, to compete against each other. Now, obviously, this proposal has to go to an EFL vote. Uh, but the clubs are saying without... Um, salary caps in, in force because financial fair play doesn't work clubs will go out of business and if the lower leagues struggle it will have a knock-on negative impact on the leagues above because if you lose the player base and the club base that supports the club pyramid system of promotion relegation or even if you didn't have promotion relegation you had tier levels if you cannot have healthy clubs at the lower level where players are playing it will affect the player depth, the talent pool, and the overall quality of, of the sport. Other sports have successfully introduced salary caps uh, and kept the sports competitive to a point. Uh, European football as a whole doesn't have a salary cap system. And what will then happen is it will affect the international transfer market. And other European leagues will also have to consider this option in order to control costs and make it a level playing field. We may see less transfers in future. We may see smaller transfers uh, when it comes to the amount of money paid because we've also seen chaos in the transfer market with delayed payments because of the TV deals struggling during this lockdown. So it'll be interesting to see if the EFL um, you know, puts that proposal forward and they actually vote on it and what will then happen. But the, the, the League 1 and League 2 clubs are saying without this uh, measure in place, they will cease to exist very, very quickly because we are not sure if fans are going to be allowed in attendance at games for next season or for the rest of this season if they do resume the rest of this season. And League One and League Two clubs want their seasons cancelled. They don't want to continue um, playing because there's so much uncertainty. And without fans in attendance, the, the lower league clubs will massively take a hit and will lose even more money. So it's an interesting development and something that will affect wider leagues across Europe going forward. Now, we know the MLS has a salary cap. And it's, it's a loose cap, it's not a hard cap, it's a soft cap. But why is it that European football is lagging so far behind other sports where there are proper cost controls in place to make A, the leagues competitive and B, make sure clubs can be healthy financially? It's something to consider. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts below. Do you think we need a salary cap in football? Do you think it's long overdue? Uh, my opinion is it, it is long overdue, but obviously everyone's opinion will, will differ. But you have to look at the financial situation of European football as a whole and how badly impacted 
even massive clubs or even big clubs are uh, by the, the lockdown and lack of football being played. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts below and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.